Interior, a corporate office. Day. Bring. Biz. Click, 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 click. The ringing of phones. A crisp, thunky copy machine. Keyboards being typed. Slow fade on a standard corporate office. This is work. A safe and supportive environment where your productivity will flourish. Here you are part of the backbone of the company's success. The team. The family. A toilet flushes. Interior, office, bathroom, day. A tall, bald, interesting-looking man emerges from a stall, tucking his crisp white shirt into his suit pants. In our family, we embrace a radical philosophy. We believe in the power of kinship to fuel creativity, productivity, and success. Picture the workplace not as a cold, sterile environment, but as a warm, nurturing home where every member is valued cherished, and supported. This is Mike, late 40s, affable and reliable, slightly odd, yet ultimately a wholesome employee. We embrace challenges as opportunities for growth, learning, and transformation. When times get tough, we rally around each other, offering support, encouragement, and a shoulder to lean on. He washes his hands and dries them under a powerful dryer that whirs loudly as he checks his reflection in the mirror. In our family, failure isn't feared. It's embraced as a natural part of the journey towards excellence. We understand that setbacks are merely stepping stones on the path to success, and we're not afraid to fail forward together. Interior, a corporate office, day. As Mike exits the bathroom, he sees one of his work family, Carol, somewhere in her mid-fifties, thin and energetic, with mom hair and mom jeans, on her way to the break room. Care Bear! Carol talks as she walks, not looking at Mike. I'd love to talk, Mike, but I'm slammed. Just getting coffee. Coffee's actually really good for you. Good magnesium, potassium. Okie dokie, Mike. But too much, and you... you know. Mike makes an upset tummy gesture. Ew, Mike. Carol continues fast walking to the break room. Hey, doesn't that, um, that new guy start today? But Carol's gone. Mike is pretty sure that the new guy starts today. Interior, a corporate office, cubicle, day. Mike appears at the entrance of a cubicle. He watches Dale... 37-ish, stocky, with a full beard and thick prescription glasses. He's typing furiously on a mechanical keyboard. Psst. Dale doesn't hear him. Psst. Dale still doesn't hear him. He pecks and pecks as if the world will end if he doesn't keep pecking. Dale. Dale still doesn't hear him. Mike reaches to gently tap Dale on the shoulder. As soon as he does, Dale lets out a loud, single-note scream of terror as he whips his body around in his too-small chair to see Mike pulling back, also startled but stifling a giggle. Jesus fucking Christ, Mike! I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I told you not to do that specific fucking thing, cause, cause my heart, y you know? I'm so sorry. Dale is still in fight-or-flight mode, eyes still closed. I just wanted to check in to see what you think you might be bringing to the family potluck. I told you, I'm bringing the utensils. Oh, right. Mike pulls out a notebook and scribbles. Utensils and... And what, Mike? Oh, yeah, and I guess that's about it. Dale is back to pecking hard. Mike wants to ask him about the new guy, but doesn't. <laughs>